I'm 32 and I'm still finding myself and that's okay. It's crazy because I really thought when I was in my 20s that when I reached 30s that I'd have everything figured out, that I'd be, I don't know, I don't know, I'd, that I'd be like okay and so far 30s has been a whirlwind. Is that the word? Is that how you describe it? It's just been an absolute roller coaster from mental health diagnosis to starting a new career because my 20s I had a very very kind of free and very very lucky life to have lived you know I lived in Japan for eight to nine years and that was a majority of my 20s and yeah, even then, back then, I was trying to find myself and trying to figure out who is it that I want to be when I get older and I'm still figuring it out and again, that's okay. It's okay to feel lost. It's okay to feel a little insecure about where you're headed next and I think that's where my mind and my life has been recently and like, I just wanted to open up here to you guys because I wanted to know has anybody else been feeling the same are you also feeling a little lost or how how do you guys go about to find um, your way I don't know I think a lot of my 20s my identity was I live in Japan and so even my content was about Japan and then my content shifted when I came out and like my content became a lot more about me coming out and my journey as a lesbian individual. Yeah, and then I decided that I wanted to change my life, that my career as a model was coming to an end just because it was so hard guys. You know, there's always like visa struggles, there's always like struggles because there is a lot of competition in Japan like a lot of people can do modeling um, which is really great I mean I think it's you know still if you are into modeling or if you would like to try it I think it's it's a good route it's a good experience and I really am grateful for all the experience that I had and then I wanted to live a more kind of stable life and I wanted to go to the next step of my life which is which was to get married and to like live in a country where LGBT people are accepted and same-sex marriage is accepted and that's why I decided to move to the UK and in the last two years things have been like up and down like I said and like and I think I'm just still adjusting I'm still adjusting to what it's like to live in the UK again it is a different culture that I'm used to, you know, especially after getting used to a culture like Japan and then to come back here. It is completely different culture. My day-to-day -day life is very different to what I used to do back in Japan. And, you know, the weather's different, my friends, and I don't know, it's just been hard as well to make new friends. And, I don't know if that's because when we get older, we just have less opportunities to meet new people and that's why, that's why we don't make new friends. I have made some new friends though as well, I mean I'm saying this but I've made, I have made some really great new friends around here. A lot of new musician friends which is really awesome because then I can talk about more music stuff, create more stuff. And that's been really cool. What is the meaning of life? What is the purpose of life? If anybody has a great answer, do leave it in the comments below. But I've just been pondering, pondering these questions, pondering these emotions. My life goals, when they changed it, it had been, right, I'm gonna go to the UK and I'm going to get a stable job done I'm gonna get married done get an apartment done 
And then you just start to think, right, I've done all these things that were my goals. And those were my genuine goals like two years ago. And now I'm just like, what are my new goals? What is it that I want to achieve? Now that I think about it, there is a lot of things that I would like to achieve. I have been writing. I've been writing a novel and I actually I've finished that novel. And now I'm just like, what's the next step? What do I do? What do I go from here? I want to release this book, but how do I do it? How do I go about it? I guess that's one goal. That's one direction that I have. Life's full of opportunities, but at the same time, it can be overwhelming because there is so much that you can do. And that's why I'm feeling a little bit lost. What are you guys' goals and dreams? What is it that you want to achieve? Give me a little bit of inspiration. Maybe, maybe I'll pick something up and also think like, that's something that I want to do. Let's have a little chat in the comments below and kind of talk it out. Anyways, I'm all dressed up because we are going to go out for some brunch and I'd like to take you guys along. So it will be a nice little kind of vlog situation. I hope you guys like it. I'm wearing my new jacket that I got in Oxford City last weekend. The jacket is vintage and it is real suede. So I don't know like how many years old this is, but doesn't smell too bad. So I guess it's been aired out for a long time. I don't know how these things work, but it's my like first suede vintage jacket. So I'm really happy about it. I paid only 55 pounds in Oxford City and that was in the Ballroom Emporium. So if anyone is around Oxford City and wants to get a nice vintage jacket, that's where I recommend. You look cool. Give us a little twirl. of videos for my social media I think I've made like six or seven videos today and I'm about to go wash my hair because I did do a hair video two hair videos actually um, and I wanted to show you guys that I have a new hair mask that just came from my PR and it looks quite promising. So it's from Percy and Reed. It's a London brand and it's a hydrating TLC mask. So that's what I'm going to be putting on my hair and we're going to see how it works out. Do you notice anything different? Yep, yeah, I just gave myself a fringe and I think I love it. Uh, the water is boiling, so I need to make some pasta, so... Now I'm going to make some tuna tomato pasta. Oh my god, my hair looks so cute. I love it. And here is my finished pasta.
gosh it's so bright um this is the end of the vlog guys i hope you enjoyed this one and don't forget to leave me a comment on your thoughts on what i said earlier and i'll see you in the next video